There was a beautiful young maiden who volunteered to become an offering to the sea god. Awaiting her were fierce waves and dark mm. secrets of the wicked sea king. What has happened? Evelyn is a peaceful warrior. She carries the mission to tame the dark powers that reside everywhere. To protect the weak and vulnerable. When she arrived at the kingdom of Cletus, she heard the tale of the fish prince Eric, a betrayer despised by all the people. The fish folk in the kingdom of Cletus had lived in harmony, both helped each other thrive and prosper. Each possessed a precious gem, one representing the deep survival of the ocean, the other symbolizing the brilliant intellectual power of humankind. In his desire to possess both powers, huh? Eric stole the prince Cletus' divine gem. He ruthlessly forbade humans from venturing near the sea. To live in peace, Cletus had to offer a beautiful maiden to him every year. The upcoming sacrifice was a cause for great fear. This time, mm -hmm. let me be the offering. And so the goddess of peace adorned herself in a bridal gown. Under the escort of the divine people and the king, Evelyn quickly sank into a deep sleep. When she awoke, she found herself at the dark bottom of the ocean. Who are you? Please, spare me. My father is a fish in the sea, and my mother, she is one of the divine people of Cletus. I am a hybrid. Humans no longer need me. While they were conversing, huh? Evelyn and Eric heard a piercing sound. <gasps> it's Cletus' ship horn! Where are the children? We're in danger! <gasps> Not far from the ship preparing to cast its nets, two young fish were playing carefree. Look, there's something really strange here. Ah! Luckily, Eric and Evelyn appeared just in time and rescued the children from imminent danger. The furious sea king emerged from the water, roaring terrifyingly. The ship swayed and quickly sailed away. tell you stay away from the sea you you monster hmm. <sighs> it started off well and evelyn became acquainted with mia a clever orphan girl who had lost both her father and mother thanks to mia she discovered huh? the mysteries huh? of the enchanting <laughs> underwater world eric is both huh? ugly and fierce why did you marry him, Evelyn? Indeed, he is a wicked person. Hmm. Eric only shouts and yells. He doesn't harm anyone. He's not a bad person. Hmm? You're right. Last time, he didn't harm the fishermen who caught you. He just chased them away from the sea. Why is that? Does it have anything to do with the girls? We must find them quickly. Evelyn, come huh? on! Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Mia? Mia? Where are you? Mia? <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! Sleepy. Release huh? her. <gasps> Looking for Mia, huh? She went to play with the fish gang. <laughs> this little girl leaving without <laughs> saying goodbye. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Let me come with you. Evelyn followed Eric to a large cave of light at the bottom of the sea. <gasps> it's beautiful! <laughs> huh? At the cave of light, 
Eric introduced Evelyn to a difficult to approach sea monster named Gunner. Contrary to the underwater king's expectations, Evelyn quickly and easily tamed it. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down, Gunner. Eric and Gunner brought Evelyn to meet many mm. new friends. She couldn't remember all the strange sea creatures she had encountered. Transparent octopuses, talking fish, stunningly colorful jellyfish. But she remembered one thing. They all loved Eric. He wasn't as cruel as she had heard. The Bride of the Sea King! The Bride of the Sea King! Hmm. That's right. What about the brides who were sacrificed? Evelyn wouldn't allow herself to forget them. After days of mm. eavesdropping, she finally found a clue when she followed Eric to an island. So he's been keeping them here! <laughs> Evelyn felt completely disappointed. That night, she went ashore to inform Jake. Evelyn didn't expect the rescue mission to come so quickly. Mia was about to celebrate her 10th birthday, and she had a wish to receive a rare gemstone. It's the purple Sophia! Remember that, please! The pink one is also very beautiful, Mia! Hmm. Huh. As predicted, after learning the location of the ore from Evelyn, Eric didn't hesitate to go ashore. In the end, he found the rare gemstone. Long time no see. Greetings, your majesty of the sea. Unexpectedly, Evelyn has achieved something like this. At that moment, Eric realized he had fallen into a trap. On the other side, Evelyn had her first opportunity to approach the brides who were sacrificed. They revealed a surprising truth to her. No! Eric is not a bad person! He saved our lives and protected us! It turns out that the sacrifices were not demanded by the Sea King, but it was Jake who spread rumors and willingly sacrificed his own people to frame Eric. Their sorrowful faces were due to missing their parents, and they were afraid to return to a place ruled by a deceitful person. Evelyn! Evelyn! Don't stay on the shore for too long! If it dries up, what? Are you a human? Mia, listen to me! You're a spy for the Cletus! Hold on! Eric is on the shore! Traitor! What happened to Eric? Mia, I'm sorry! Uh. I will bring Eric back to safety! <laughs> Just return the divine gem to them! Return it! Liar! Mia revealed another <laughs> truth to Evelyn. It was Jake who had stolen the gem. How dare he ascend the throne before me? Impossible! <laughs> Prince Cletus lacked the power to succeed to the throne. But he was jealous when Eric received the divine gem first. He stole the gem of his own kingdom and went into the sea <laughs> to claim the remaining gem of the fish folk. Many innocent fish were harmed by him, including Mia's parents. The sea king deeply resented it, but did not want a war that would harm innocent lives. Since then, the fish folk developed a deep hatred for humans. The truth caused Evelyn immense sorrow. She promised Mia that she would bring Eric back safely at all costs. At the same time, in Cletus, Jake hastily executed the Sea King in public. Punish him, the monster! Silence. In the name of the King of Cletus, I will punish the monster who brought us suffering. The monster is you! The sacrifice girls! They were alive! Evelyn managed to bring the sacrifice brides ashore. These girls exposed Jake's deceit. He is also the one who stole the divine gem of Cletus! We have been deceived! Deceptive scoundrel! I am no longer the weak Jake. Ha <laughs> ha! Evelyn, my savior! Get off! Don't do something foolish. <laughs> Jake had obtained the Sea King's divine gem. He was no longer afraid of anything. Come here! Look at this pitiful appearance. Evelyn gazed at Eric's wounded body in agony. I'm sorry, Eric. I'm not worthy. 
Don't cry. Tame the power. She tried to calm herself and search for the power within Jake. However, the power emanating from him was incredibly dark, devoid of the light of goodness. So, that's all your last words? Jake's footsteps drew closer with each passing moment, mm. causing Evelyn's heart gripped in fear. She tried to stop him with magical barriers. Huh? Mm. The two gems are mine. I'm not the weak Jake I used to be. Jake's words awakened Evelyn, realizing that it was not Jake himself, but the power of the two divine gems that gave him strength. Therefore, what she should tame was not Jake, but the two gems. The two gems still emitted a faint glimmer of light. Luckily, they had not been completely corrupted. Ah! No! The dazzling power from the two gems burst out of Jake's body. The deceitful man disappeared amidst his cries of agony. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Eric! Your gift, courageous warrior. <laughs> Your gift? The treacherous Jake had been punished, and the divine people hoped that Eric could assume the role of Cletus. The Sea King agreed to provide assistance if they encountered difficulties. The divine gems would be left for a deserving king. Although the evil had been vanquished and Eric had been restored, the mission of the peaceful warrior was not yet complete. Farewell, Eric! Hmm. The Sea King <laughs> resumed his solitary days. There's an intruder! Release me! Who? Greetings, Sea King! You're still as fierce as ever! Welcome back! <laughs> It turned out that the mission of each warrior extends until the age of 25. Evelyn had fulfilled her duty and returned to the ocean to continue her unfinished love story with the Sea King Eric. In the dense and dangerous Amazon forest, nobody knew about the existence of a peculiar creature, the Mara Mermaid the only surviving member of the mermaid tribe. She was the guardian of a treasure hidden at the bottom of the river, yet she had no idea of its true value. For Mira, the precious gold and silver that humans desired were nothing more than playthings she enjoyed with the underwater creatures. Mira noticed a squirrel falling into the water and hurried to rescue it. Little did she know, fate had brought her face to face with her destiny. It was none other than John, a renowned explorer. Huh? John, accompanied by Phil and a small group of soldiers, <laughs> ventured into the Amazon forest in search of treasure. Despite their days of arduous exploration, they hadn't found any traces yet. When the entire expedition reached a drier water area, Phil suddenly spotted huh? glimmering specks of gold at the riverbed. Without hesitation, he swiftly collected those small pieces of gold. <laughs> gold! It's gold! His soldiers huh? heard him and became excited, searching for gold along the riverbed. However, John paid no attention. Huh? He was solely focused on the squirrel struggling in the water. Fortunately, the poor squirrel was revived by John's artificial respiration and regained consciousness. The group continued to collect gold, unaware that a mermaid was watching them. It was Mira. She gazed dreamily at John. He truly is a strange young man. Instead of picking up gold, he saves a squirrel? At that moment, Phil glanced around and noticed Mira observing huh? them. <gasps> A mermaid? <laughs> John immediately <gasps> followed Phil's gaze, and their eyes met. Afraid, Mira drove underwater and disappeared. 
Get the mermaid! However, one soldier, mm -hmm. too engrossed in collecting gold, paid no attention and continued venturing into deep waters. Huh? Unfortunately, he became the prey of a crocodile. Quick, get out of here! After Mira returned to her dwelling, she remembered what she had just witnessed and was instantly drawn to John's kind-hearted nature. Huh? Disregarding material possessions, while cherishing the nights and days. <laughs> Meanwhile, John was also fascinated by the discovery of the mermaid's existence. He began sketching drawings of the mermaid in his notebook. As for Phil, he secretly planned to capture the mermaid and present her to the king, hoping to gain wealth and fame. <laughs> I must certainly capture that mermaid. However, to catch the mermaid, they had to overcome a gigantic crocodile. Huh? Phil recalled the scene when he discovered Mira earlier, and a sinister smile gradually spread across his face. The next day, Phil and John returned to the Amazon forest. Mira once again reunited with the love of her life. Suddenly, John's boat encountered a mishap, and he fell into the river in a peculiar manner. John tried to call for help, struggling to stay afloat, but no one on the boat heard his cries. From a distance, a gigantic crocodile emerged on the water's surface and started rushing towards John. In a critical moment, Mira saved him from the jaws of the crocodile. Escaping the crocodile's grip, Mira took John to her hiding place. Here, John faced Mira at huh? such close proximity for the first time. He appeared bewildered huh? and worried. Huh? Mira suddenly discovered huh? her own drawings in John's notebook. Huh? She became immensely <laughs> delighted. Observing this, John gradually let go of his guard towards Mira. He offered her a candy as a token of gratitude. <laughs> that night, John stayed behind the waterfall cave to have intimate conversation with Mira, sharing their innermost thoughts. The entire mermaid tribe has vanished, and I am the only one left alone in this world. The treasure, the riches, hold no meaning anymore. The only companion I have is the crocodile who helps huh? guard the treasure. <laughs> Mira, it's all in the past. I will take you to a huh? grand and safe castle, where there will be no lurking danger anymore. Huh? Humans have harmed our entire lineage and desire to possess the treasure of the Amazon. My mother sacrificed herself so I could huh? escape. I despise humans. Hearing this, huh? John felt immense hmm. sympathy for Mira. He was determined to risk his own life to protect her. The next day, huh? as they sat happily conversing by the edge of the waterfall, a sudden large huh? net descended huh? upon them. Phil approached with a wicked grin. It turned out he had devised a plan for John huh? to lure Mira, huh? using him as bait to ensnare her. Release her! Mm. Mm. Mira, you must trust me. I have no knowledge of this scheme. John! You are a betrayer! <laughs> John is not worthy of your love. Hate him instead. Despite Phil's promise to John about releasing Mira back into the mighty river, the reality proved different as he brought her to a luxurious castle and even presented her as a gift to the king. You cannot take her away! Step aside! Oh, I should thank you for helping me capture her, shouldn't I? After being bestowed upon the king, Mira found herself in a grand hall within the castle, confined within a colossal fish tank. She became an exhibition for neighboring nobles to marvel at. Mira refused to accept her captivity, exerting all her strength in futile attempts to escape from that prison. After numerous unsuccessful endeavors, Mira felt powerless and gradually abandoned her resistance. John knew that Mira had become a plaything for the human race 
and fervently wished to find a way to liberate her from that wretched existence. However, Phil always had vigilant henchmen who closely monitored and thwarted his every effort. I've caused Mira to suffer. I am truly a despicable person. I must rescue her at all costs and make those villains pay dearly. As night descended, John stealthily attacked the guards who were watching over Mira. The commotion awakened Mira from her slumber. Before her lay a fierce and intense battle. After overpowering all the guards, John proceeded to explain to Mira the events that had unfolded. However, Mira remained consumed by feelings of resentment and indignation towards John. Mira, Mira, please, listen to my explanation! Despite his explanations, John found himself climbing up the castle wall in search of a way to persuade her. Mira was overwhelmed by anger and truly decided to rid herself of the young man whom she had once deeply cherished. John made no attempt to resist, his body surrendering as if accepting Mira's retribution. Mira was taken aback when John entrusted his life to her without the slightest resistance. Perhaps he had no other means to prove his unwavering love for her. But ultimately, Mira softened her heart and pulled John out of the water. Mira, I was deceived by Phil. I was foolish to have placed so much trust in his words. I will bring you back to the Amazon. Upon hearing John's explanation, Mira's trust was rekindled once more. She agreed to escape with a young man before her, in pursuit of freedom and a new life. Very well, let's go! <laughs> Without hesitation, John guided Mira away from the pool. He couldn't bear to keep the person he loved in this place for even a moment longer. Stepping outside, John led her to a convoy of wine carriages that had been arranged beforehand. Both of them quickly boarded the carriage, evading the notice of anyone else. Thanks to that, both of them easily surpassed the watchful eyes of the guards and left the castle. Traveling throughout the night, the following day the convoy arrived at the Amazon. Seizing the moment when the convoy paused for rest, John guided Mira away from there and delved deep into the jungle. John gently led Mira out of the wine carriage to ensure nobody would discover them. Upon reaching the riverbank, it seemed as though they had successfully escaped. However, John spotted Phil's army in pursuit. But John swiftly intervened, shielding her with his own body. Behind them, Phil and his horse-riding soldiers gave chase. Go get them! <clears throat> Mira brought John to her sanctuary. John sustained severe injuries, causing great worry to Mira. She tenderly touched John's wounds, her tears streaming incessantly. <laughs> Wait for me, my love. I won't let you depart like this. She dove deep into the heart of the Amazon. There, a treasure trove of gold and silver lay buried beneath the riverbed. Approaching a spot where a glowing goblet was placed, she then returned to John. Huh? When these tears fell, I shall be forever blind. But you are more important. I am willing to sacrifice anything as long as you awaken. <laughs> Gradually, John regained consciousness, yet he realized that Mira could no longer see. You're awake! Your eyes! 
to save you, I am willing to do anything. Once again, John expressed his gratitude to Mira. He discovered that the tears of a mermaid, hmm. when consumed huh? from the enchanted goblet, could heal even the most critical wounds. <clears throat> At that very moment, Phil's frenzied group hmm. relentlessly searched for John and Mira. John was hit by a deadly arrow. Surely he couldn't survive. As they ventured across the tranquil waters, the soldiers chanced upon a glistening gold concealed beneath the surface. Halt, you heedless band! Overwhelmed by a sense of powerlessness, Phil pressed on his solitary journey. After a while, he encountered John. Though pierced by a deadly arrow, you endure. Indeed, it was Mira. She wielded this wondrous goblet of hope and the tears of a mermaid to preserve my life. Phil's insatiable greed surged forth at the mere mention of the precious treasure. <laughs> John, let us join forces and apprehend Mira, claiming the Amazon's treasure as our own. Material possessions hold no dominion over me. No! You're crazy! In the state of terror, Phil's henchmen scattered in every direction. John retraced his steps to reunite with Mira. Through the genuine love bestowed by John, Mira's sight was restored. Together, they reveled in blissful harmony within the enchanting embrace of the Amazon forest.